Well, I'm from Cedar Falls. Uh, I'm a, a father of three, and uh, I've got uh, seven grandkids. Actually, eight grandkids. One's in the womb. So I count them as soon as I know about them. I was a youth pastor in Cedar Falls for about 20 years, and presently, uh, when I have time, I still do some leadership consulting with uh, ministries and other organizations. And so that keeps me busy. Well, you and I uh, is part of my district. I've got the southern half of the campus, and so obviously, you and I is a great place to visit. And uh, especially if you're thinking about going to school there, uh, I would suggest checking that out. Um, one of the one of the businesses that is in my district that I talk about a lot is, is Hanson's Dairy, and they uh, produce uh, dairy products and milk throughout the whole district, and uh, they give tours. And so, just south of Hudson. A great place you can go check that out and uh, get a tour of their facility and see how that process is done. I think uh, it's it's working on the team together, uh, coming in every year and knowing that we're um, at least all on a similar page of trying to help Iowa and make Iowa a better place to live for everybody here. And so um, I like being on a team. I like uh, seeing everybody's point of view and the different ideas that we have and the different strategies and seeing that kind of all come together and synergize. I like the word synergize. And so um, uh, we all come together and, and, and come out, hopefully at the end of session, uh, with a better idea and a better plan to help Iowa be uh, the, the best state it could be. So that's what I like about it. I'm on appropriations, transportation, education, and economic growth. Those are the four big ones that I work on. Obviously appropriations is, is a big deal as far as making sure uh, that we don't spend more money than we take in, and that's been, uh, you know, a hard task over the last four years. But uh, it, it's uh, been a privilege uh, for me to be on that committee, continuing the idea that we have to stay fiscally responsible. So uh, that's been exciting. Education has also been um, pretty neat to be on, and just uh, some of the things that we've talked about. And uh, you know, obviously, the Ed Reform Bill last year was a big deal and uh, tweaking it and trying to make it better. And as we look at it, trying to analyze, is this, is this doing what we really want it to do? So uh, we continue to do that. I'm also an assistant leader, and part of that is just helping the caucus uh, uh, come together and synergize, like I talked about earlier, and making sure that we are on the same page within the issues and kind of encouraging some of our younger members to uh, do the things that they need to do to be the best uh, legislators that they can. A couple of things that we are working on um, and I'm always working on is, is funding for you and I and it, it comes up a lot and the three regent universities are an integral part of our state and so um, I feel that you and I needs to have a, a voice uh, down here a lot uh, because uh, they have the highest percentage of in-state students uh, but because of that, they struggle a lot with their funding projects and uh, their overall funding. So uh, just making sure that I have uh, put forth a strong voice for you and I is, is one of my uh, deals down here.